Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Brother T, Freemason Cigar Enthusiast with VCR, and we got the tapes rolling on a, another cigar review video for you folks. And today, we're smoking The Killer Bee by Mr. James Brown. And initial impressions, it has the quintessential Killer Bee cap. You can capture that right there. It's a novelty in the industry, most certainly. Outside of that, it has a very firm pack. It has tight seams, minimal veins. It has a closed foot. It's almost toothless to the touch. It's dark chocolate in terms of coloration and almost has a soft oily sheen to it as well. Pre-light aroma. It's rich. It's strong. It smells like cocoa, manure. There's a little bit of an earth quality there as well as some tobacco. We're going to cut and light. All right, initial impressions. It's sweeter than I thought it would be. Tasty notes, we're getting There's an earth component, wood, black pepper, a little bit of coffee. So far so good. Draw. It's like water through a straw. Mouthfeel, it's more cream than oily right now. And the draw is about moderately dense. We'll see how it starts to take off. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Getting to about the end of that first, third. Note so far, still that wood to oak at times. There's an earth, there's a coffee component, certainly a black pepper, a little bit of citrus there. There's a sweetness to the cigar. Uh, it's fantastic. It's well blended. I would expect nothing less from Mr. James Brown. All right, all right, all right, everybody. We're getting to that halfway point right now on the Killer Bee, and it has been fantastic. What does it mean when we're at the halfway point? It means we're going to do the blend update as well as flavor update. Rolling on into it, the blend it uses an Ecuadorian Habano, and then the binders and fillers are from Nicaragua. In terms of tasting notes, our profile so far, the sweetness is starting to fall away. There's still an element of earth there. There's still that wood component. It kind of moves a little bit more towards oak at times. There's some creaminess. There's a baking spice that's starting to build. That black pepper is still most certainly there. So far, so good. When we return, we're gonna do tasting note update. We're gonna undress this guy, remove the band, and then finish with the cigar wrap up. All right, everybody, getting to that point where we can undress this guy. Remove the band. And one moment here while we do that. Here we go. And we'll talk about that band a little bit. It has a high contrast color palette, primarily going to be golds, greens, and blacks. The finish is going to be matte and metallic, respectively. The print quality upon close inspection, there is no pixelization, so it's a fantastic print quality. And it's on adequate band stock, uh, so well done. In terms of tasting notes, there's a rocky earth, still a wood, to a little bit of a cedar. We're getting some baking spice now, as well as some cream. There's a little bit of sweetness that's starting to build in the profile, as well as brief bits of citrus as well. There's still a black pepper component. It's been there the entire time. Just kind of waxes and wanes, respectively, as you smoke down or draw down on the cigar. Jumping on into the cigar wrap-up. Construction, fantastic. No issues. Ash held on for greater than one inch increments most of the time. Outside of that, we had no burn issues. It was sharp, it was consistent, and required no touch-ups. draw. It was like water through a straw, and it's dense. Very dense. It, In terms of mouthfeel, it's creamy, coats the palate, and it has a little bit of chew by way of texture to the smoke. Is it more savory than sweet, Brother T? Well, it kind of depends where you're at in the cigar. At the beginning, when you're lighting that closed foot, it rings more sweet than savory. Right now, for me, my palate, it's more savory than sweet. So it really just depends at where you're at on the journey as you draw down the cigar. In terms of body strength, 
I'd bill both at medium plus respectively. My name's Brother T, Freemason cigar enthusiast, and today we smoked The Killer Bee by Blackworks Studio, Mr. James Brown. And as always, smoke them if you got them.